Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are in the heart of the beast. This is the Royal Enfield section of the Baxter Cycle Shop. All these hot rod Royal Enfields running, but what we're here to talk about, I've been getting a lot of questions about seats. And I got a question about this particular one. And uh, this is a Bon Vant. And it's a shorty seat. It's, uh, they make this in black. They make it in, uh, they have this in stock in black. And I think the guy wanted to know how long it was. And I think it's, well, right there, about 20 inches. And let's, uh, here's the side of it. And let's take a look at the underneath of it. Looks like it fits into the normal placing of a Royal Enfield. Very good, very good. Oh, and there's the price, by the way. So Bon Bon. Um, they've got a whole slew of these seats here. This might be for a GT. These are Royal Enfield branded right here. This one's red. I think they make this with a blue also. I think this might be the touring seat. This is one of my favorite seats right here. Now over here is a uh, Trip Machine. Yeah, Trip Machine is the brand here. Now look at that. That's kind of looks like distressed. Really neat looking. I love the way that looks. And it comes with this little cover, I think, to protect it if you got weather. Of course, we just talked about this Bon Bon. Now, here's the same Bon Bon brand. This is the longer seat. I wonder how long that one is. That one is, looks like about 25 or so inches, maybe. But again, the same kind of a thing. I like the way that looks, too. I'm not sure where these are made. I think they're French. This one is $329, $330. What did I say this one was? $289, $290, and they've got this in black. They may have this one in brown too. Well, we'll walk over there and take a look. And then I already talked about this one. And of course these Royal Enfield. Uh, while I got you here, so these are pipes, accessories, all kinds of things for your Royal Enfield. Oh, look at that. I would like to have that on a uh, Interceptor for touring. But uh, anyway, all kinds of, you know, levers and just all kinds of goodies. It's just rear suspension brackets racks all that neat stuff oh wouldn't that be cool little shorty fenders and over here we've got little uh side panels little uh pico blinkers things like that tank pads grill covers headlight covers i mean i think over here we're getting into the uh, royal or the himalayan section but uh let's jump over here right quick i don't think this ever gets enough press look at all these you know just all kinds of uh, really high quality, nifty looking pouches and tank tank uh, knee pads and bar ends. Crash sliders, oh, that's cool. Oil guards, check out these taillights. Just a whole slew of these really neat Diablo. Oh, look at that, that taillight, 54 bucks, 55 bucks. I like this, they just put this on one of the bikes. We'll do a video about that real quick. These uh, very retro looking old style headlight brackets. What brand is that? Diablo, Diablo headlight brackets. You know, all kinds of neat stuff here. And then jumping up here, of course. Hey, that's my old gas tank right there. And, and just a quick look at the gear and bags. Uh, but while I got you here, I'm going to, uh, we're going to shift over. Now take a good look at this seat here. Oh, look at this, YSS suspension for your interceptor. Anyway, take a good look at the seat here. I'm going to, we're going to run over to the other building right quick and uh, I want to show you something they got that's really cool. All right, we made our way over to the Triumph building and uh, over here they've got this bike sitting. This is a Royal Enfield again. This is one we did a video on. This is actually one of the funnest 650 interceptors I've ever, ever ridden. They're all fun. I love I love them all, but this one's got the Dustlin pipe on it and all the goodies added to it. All the little, you know, we we did a real neat little video. But what I want to show you is this seat. This is a Bon Bon seat also. I think this was an also available in the black or the diamond. But what the neat trick is, and I don't have it here to show it to you, is there is an add-on seat that clips onto here. It, it stuffs into here, folds down, and clips into here. And that would make this into a twin seat bike. So as it is now, it's a single seat. And uh, you can make it into a double seat. And I think that seat was with this rack was something like uh, 600 bucks. I'm not sure. So this, in this form, it's about just under 20 inches. And then you'd have the add-on seat, which would add another eight or nine inches. Isn't that a cool bike? That's one of my favorites. So just a little heads up for y'all. They got a 
don't know if I'm supposed to tell you, they got a few uh, custom interceptors in the work that we're gonna do some quick videos on pretty quick. Just really good looking art bikes, performance art bikes. Anyway, hope you all appreciated that. Uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of me or get a hold of Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com. If it's uh, nice out where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!